everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer for Soaps. I am making a um, grapefruit soap. It's not just a straight grapefruit. It is a, it has some other hints to it as well. And I'm sorry, I don't remember what those are, but I can tell you. I can tell you it smells amazing don't have enough of this fragrance to make sugar scrub and lotion and everything. Um, so I'm going to be ordering more, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to make a small batch of sugar scrub because I want to just bathe in this. It smells so good. So I'm going to do a little bit of orange, not a whole lot. Uh, I'm just going to do some white. that I did this one earlier. It's got some fairy dust mica in there. Um, do I want to use it for this one? Sure. Why not? A little bit of white. And then the rest is going to be pink. Fairy Dust Micro was from today. <laughs> this is soap number six. I have one more to do. But this smells really, really good. It's going to be the perfect summer soap. You know, someone said a little bit ago, it's time to start thinking about Christmas and fall soaps. And I'm like, but summer hasn't even started yet. I can't start thinking about Christmas and fall soaps yet. I'm just not ready. Uh, so I will be hammering those out again this year, right before. And I don't think I'm going to do a lot of holiday type scents. I might do more, do some warm scents. But I'm not going to do a lot of the holiday, traditional holiday soaps this year. I'll do my pumpkin spice because that one sells out, I mean, almost as fast as I post it. Wow, that is orange. This is the first time I've used this orange. Um, so I will make that one. I'm going to blend these up. Whoops on a hook. Oh, I am thickening up a little bit. I didn't look at the reviews on this one before I started soaping. So I'm going to move a little faster here. Okay, I'm all ready here. Pour in the pink. I might spoon swirl this one. Oh, I meant to do white first. Oh well. Variety is the spice of life. Hmm? Yeah, this isn't sinking in at all. Just getting layers, not drop swirls. Gonna be the last of the orange. I don't think I'm gonna do orange on the top. Whoa. Luckily it's pretty thick because I just threw this. And it 
flipped over and only a couple of splatters. I'm trying to hurry since it's, it is setting up fairly quickly. A little bit of pink there. A little bit more. Actually, I want a little more white. the spoon that I wanted, but that's okay. So it's a little more awkward going back the other way. I could turn the mold around, but I'm almost done now. I'm only going halfway through, halfway down on the second pass. First pass I hit bottom and this one I just went down to the middle. All right. Stir that up a little. So this one moved a little fast, but not too bad. I need to remember that for next time. It's still, it's not enough to make me not want to do this again. I wasn't going to do the orange, I was going to do just pink, but I have another soap that is pink and white. And my daughter said she thought it would be too similar. So I added the orange. Trying to scrape it all out here. My hand is cramping. I'm having problems with my hands today. I burned myself yesterday. I was wrapping soaps. I've had to wrap about 600 soaps in the last couple of days. And um, I have a heat gun. And I put my heat gun down next to me. And as I was moving soaps, I ended up um, pressing my hand up against the heat gun and it was so hot. It wasn't turned on but it had, it had been on for hours as I was wrapping that it was so hot that my skin actually stuck to the heat gun. So I have a nasty, nasty burn on the back of my hand and I'm really sore. But I've been putting my body butter on it. It has some lavender body butter that I made. And that helps. It's looking better already. But it's it's a bad burn, so no medicine in the world is gonna well not that there's medicine, no medicine or cream in the world is going to make that all better right away. I'm just gonna swirl this. A little more white than I wanted on top. I wonder if I can get out any more, more pink out. I love these jugs, except the spout is very hard to clean out. You know me, I don't like to leave any soap behind. I want it all out of here. I think so. Clean up easier later. And you know, there's just something about just washing it down the drain and not even being able to get to use the soap that just I don't like. I want to use the soap. There we go, that helped. Messy, messy. A little bit of mica, 
And there you go. Don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting video on the back half of this. Let's do this so you can actually see it. Okay, here's a grapefruit out of the mold. I think we're going to name this one Perdita. I don't remember. I think it's a star. It's either a star or a constellation. I can't remember which. I wrote down a list of names a little while ago. And uh, that one was on the list. That sounded feminine. And, oh, that's cool. I'm thinking that's a little feminine. And it smells so good. This is not just a straight grapefruit. There are other notes in this one as well. That looks really cool. I think that's orange. Didn't I just use orange in this one? Were either of you out here when I made this one? Or was it your sister? I think it's orange. So that will probably, it looks orange in the camera. It doesn't look orange to my face, in my face. But it doesn't look orange in person. <laughs> so that could change after it's been exposed to the air because on the sides, it's orange. I'll have to remember that for next time. I will be making this one again because I like the smell so much. I might just do the darker pink. But we'll see when it cures because I might really like the orange too. It looks like I, I can't remember what I did to this, but it looks like I may have swirled it with the chopstick, I'm guessing. Yeah, it smells really good. I love the smell of grapefruit. So this soap, this is the last piece, will be cured around June 10th, 2015, and will be available on my website at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.